Some people genuinely don't deserve nice things. Like, obviously, yeah, everyone deserves to have one kind of small little thing. But some people genuinely cannot take care of something for the life of them. You'll give them something absolutely amazing and they'll somehow find a way to destroy it within literally the same day that they received it. Anyway, a YouTuber by the name of Mondi is a professional racer and he makes a lot of content on cars. And recently he got himself a one of one McLaren Senna. Now, this particular model that he got is extremely rare. There's only about 500 of them in existence and he somehow managed to absolutely annihilate it. Anyway, I'm gonna play a couple of clips of the car now because it is a beautiful, beautiful car. It is really, just stunning. I mean, that is just fucking stunning. One of one, customized for him and him only. He has his own custom number plate. It is just stunning. Now, there is a clip as well of him talking about everything that's in the car, so I'll play that now. This is Project Kilo 2. I, I took notes while we're having dinner. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, his original Kilo, Project Kilo, was a 650S that McLaren made for a top VIP client. It was a secret build. No one knew about it, okay? Uh, secret commission, all carbon, more power, lighter. This is Project Kilo 2. It's the okay. second time McLaren has done something special yeah. like this. Chassis number 10, it was the first one to come in the US. It was for like this uh, special VIP. It's a true one-off spec. It's the only one in this green, only one in green and saddle. It's the only production Senna with the carbon wheels. Only one yep. with those cars. It's a 152,000 option. The only other Senna with the carbon wheels is Bruno Senna's uh, XP car. Just incredible. I mean, what a piece of art. Like, that car, okay, yeah, you may not like cars, you don't have to be a big car guy, but you can at least appreciate that piece of art. Just looking at the car and everything that's on it, it's just, wow. Like, it is just fascinating. Anyway, they then drove the car nine miles to a car meet, and then the next day he thought, you know what, let me flex my McLaren a little bit, let me have a bit of fun in it. So he decided to zoom down a street, and yeah, let's play the clip. I mean, even there, it looks like he doesn't have full control over it. I feel like you just put your foot down on the brake and just say, okay, let me just chill out a little bit. There is a reason why you're not allowed to just go out and just buy a Lamborghini outright. You have to start with something like a Porsche, which is kind of similar to normal cars. And then you slowly build your way up because these cars are so agile and they're so fragile as well with their turning. If you just fuck up a little bit, your car can go completely off the road. If you wanted to go and buy a Bugatti, let's say you want like 400 million, you wouldn't be able to just go to Bugatti and say, yeah, I want a Bugatti. I have the money for it. They'd say, okay, why should we give it to you? You need to pass this driving test first as well. All of these different things, all these different requirements. And although I'm sure that this guy's definitely passed them, for some reason, he just got too excited in the moment. Even if he somehow managed to get it repaired, it would never be the same. That is genuinely sad to see. I mean, I think that this guy was literally posting this car on his Instagram like it was his girlfriend. It's just so sad to think. I'm just going to read out his post now. I'm over the moon happy right now. My new Senna, aka Project Kilo 2. I found out over dinner that this was a one-off spec after buying the car, lol. I was just geeked over the color combo. Here are some specs that makes it unique. Only Project Kilo Senna made, commissioned by a VIP customer. Only Senna in this exterior color and the only green on saddle ones that's just hashtag 10 first in the us only center with factory mso carbon wheels 152 thousand dollar option only center with 24k carat gold exhaust shield only center with the kiwi logo which was the original mclaren logo so i mean once again incredible car and to think that he's just gone ahead and fucking totaled it like that is really sad to hear anyway mondi has actually come out and made a statement about this which i'd say is fairly brave so let's read that out now i guess we went viral yesterday for all the wrong reasons that building must have really wanted a collab sometimes all you need is a fun day at the track to recalibrate and wash negativity away i'm only human so yes this one stings i love that car but i will overcome it for those of you who want your 10 seconds of dopamine feel free to haze me in the comments i deserve it i own it lesson learned but i will rise above stay safe so i would say in a way it is better that he crashed the car the same day that he got it i mean yeah sure it's embarrassing and it is really quite cringe but it's probably better that he destroyed it as soon as he got it than have it for like six to eight months fall in complete love with the car and then destroy it because that 
that would be heartbreaking. He can definitely get over this one. I mean, he didn't really have enough time to build a connection to it. Yes, it is a fucking beautiful car and it's a real shame, but he will get over it and so will everyone else on the internet. Anyway, that's $1.4 million down the drain and that's about it. See ya.